Hey, what's up? It's Mochi. Today I'll be giving you a rundown on how I create an animated background aura. The applications I'll be using are Krita, Wallpaper Engine, Streamlabs OBS, Dawn Data 2 times, and DaVinci Resolve. I'll be using Krita first, which is the application I use for coloring. The first thing you want to do is separate your aura layer, so whether it be a transparent layer or a solid layer like this one. To render this out as a PNG, press Ctrl, Shift, and S at the same time. Drop down the Save as Type menu, choose PNG. Don't worry about this stuff, just press OK. Alright, so go ahead and pull up Wallpaper Engine next. Go to the bottom left and click Wallpaper Editor. This will pop up and then you choose the file you just saved in Krita. You can resize it if you want to. You want to go over to the right side in your Effects section right here and then choose Add. Add the Water Flow tool. You want to choose Paint. And if you hold Shift and then hold Click at the same time and drag, that'll change your opacity. The same thing goes for you if you hold down control, it'll change the size of your brush. And if you hold down right click, drag around, you move your photo, scroll wheel, zoom in, do whatever you want with it. Alright, so go ahead and choose show mask. If you choose direction, whatever direction you paint in will be the direction of the flow of your aura. So I'll be choosing the smooth option on the top left next. To just smooth out everything, make everything blend in together. Put the strength down to around like 70 to 100. And then just paint over everything. Make sure to get the edges too. You can just mess with the phase scale however you want. Change the speed of it. Make it really fast. Make it really slow. All right, so next I'll show you my settings in Streamlabs. Go ahead and make sure your encoder is the new one. I'll be outputting this in MP4 and my base and output is going to be the scale of my monitor bilinear for downscale and make sure your fps is 60 frames per second and if it seems like your stream is like too dark less colorful etc just right click your screen capture right here in your sources go to filters edit filters add filter make sure it is color correction mine is already selected right here and then adjust everything to your liking the next thing you want to do is adjust how zoomed in your photo is so make sure it's not getting cropped out and the yellow bars are still showing on the outside right here and that just and then just go ahead and screen record this for however long you want to i'll probably do around like 10 seconds and if you haven't already checked out my don data three times tutorial go ahead and peep the description down below and click that link all right so go ahead and upscale your video so once your aura is done upscaling go ahead and drag it into davinci resolve and adjust the zoom in position to fit the screen you're going to want to compound clip your aura once you're done fitting it. Go ahead and delete your compound clip from your video 1 input. Drag in a fusion composition. I'm going to make mine about 8 seconds long. Open in fusion. Go to your media pool. And then drag in your compound clip. Connect it to your media out. I'm going to drag in my PNG to the soggy. Connect it to my merge node your screen up here and this is what the aura looks like without any added effects i'll be adding a couple extra effects to make this aura look a bit better so first i'm going to add xglow which is a part of reactor it is an external plugin which i'll link in the description of the tutorial for y'all to download as well i'll be adjusting the gain just a little bit and then behind the xglow i'll be adding a displace node with a fast noise and then connect the fast noise to the displace change the type to x and y and then the y refraction a little bit same with the x refraction the fast noise unlock your x and y and then mess with the x and y scale a little bit to your liking as well detail a little bit higher and the contrast a little bit higher i'll mess with the seed a little bit and then put the C the rate to like 0.15. And if you render out a transparent PNG aura in Krita, you'd go through the same process until you get into DaVinci Resolve. And then what you do, because it pop up with a gray background just like this when you screen record it and upscaled it, center it just like the last time. And after you compound clip it, you'd open the compound clip in Fusion, bring a Delta keynote out, your background color and reference will be the same. So put this onto the gray, reference onto the gray, and then you decrease the red all the way down, green all the way down, until it hits like that sweet spot. And then same thing with the blue. 
and then you compound clip this side as well your fusion composition you open that up and take your compound clip and place it behind wherever and that's how i create a custom animated aura i appreciate everybody's time and i hope you'll like and subscribe it's been mochi peace